You can make more bagels, right? I I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't. I would know because I worked in a food industry before I set up my little shop, and it took me more than two hours to make a whole entire batch of bagels. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't help you with your bagel problem. Fine. I'll just pay for my things, and then I'll leave. But I will be coming back in a couple of days, and when I do, I better see some bagels on that shelf, or I will sue you. Uh, oh, of course, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, right. What did you say? Oh, n nothing, ma'am. Good, because I would hate to get you fired, since I know you probably love this job so much. Do you? Um, yes, ma'am. And again, sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> I forgive you. Now I'm just going to pay for my things, and I'll be on my merry way. There. Alright, ma'am, to your total will be six forty-five. dollars Alright, let me just get my wallet. There, take my money. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will take my stuff and leave. Some cashiers these days, I swear. Wow, more like customers these days. I can't believe that she started up some argument that shouldn't have even existed in the first place, but was added anyways. All because of a stupid food item that wasn't in stock. What a waste of time getting yelled at. I just hope that I don't find anyone else like that in the store. Come on, buttercream, sweetie. Oh, this is the first time I've seen a little family come into my shop. All right, sweetie, can you go get a basket for me? Okay. Wow, I'm so excited. This is the first time in a while you let me go to a store. Yes, honey, I know it's exciting. But just because that you're very excited doesn't mean that you should run off into the store and get lost.